It is now at this point in the podcast where we'd like to bring out our old friend, Bunny Williams, for another exciting segment, another exciting installment of Grump Old Man. Take it away, Bunford. You'll get this ball back when you tell me who your commie parents voted for. Nice, nice. And I would like to start this off by by reminding everybody that today is a Woody and holiday. So happy, happy yes, day of Planos, everybody out there. So remember day to watch Plan. Plan Nine from Outer Space sometime today. I'm probably going to do it right after the show. Um, let us get. Oh, here's a, here's a here's a joke I missed out on during the homework because. Uh, the the lesbian nurse had mentioned uh, for the girls to use deodorant, and I said, "Use deodorant, or animals will follow you home." Hmm. Hmm. So <clears throat> let's get a look at the stats uh, before digging into the meat of this show. I'm gonna have to do some experimenting, you know, with the whole format of the show. I know what I want to yep. do today, but I don't know if this is what I always want to do. And I am kind of toying with the idea of being a Trump supporter. So my, I might experiment yes. with that at one point. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Bye. 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 <laughs> She's saying bye for me being a Trump supporter. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so let's get a look here. So for for all time, May was our was not our worst month. Uh, March was our first our worst month for this year. I'm talking about. Um, but again, like I had said before, May always has a drop off when it comes to things like this, this and television shows and all that kind of stuff. And even still, yeah. it was a respectable twelve hundred listens for the month. Nice, nice. Our best month is still uh, January of this year, where it was twenty five hundred listens for the month. Yay! So let's just take a look at the quick top five. It is still Beat Bugs, Jim Carrey, Dewey Cox. Lego Batman has overtaken MF Doom, so MF Doom is hanging on the number five slot. Uh, Glitter nice. Force can overtake them. There's only a six-point spread there. So Glitter Sweet. Force can make a comeback. So let's get a look at at this week okay. to see about our top listeners. Our top listener for this week is Lady Smith Vampira. With How dare you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> with 123 listeners for the week. She sounds like she's looking to catch up. Good, good on you, yeah. Lady Smith Vampira. Good on you. Damn. Uh, and then after Lady Smith Vampira, not much. You are number two with four. Uh, user 9690536634 uh, has you tied with four listens. No Victoriano. That doesn't even sound like a real name. Come on, no. Uh, with three listens. And user 33106991 with one listen. So that's the top five. Yeah. What about, let's just go with the top three for top countries. The United States with 295. Canada with seven. And <laughs> this is kind of interesting. The Ukraine with five. Oh, we are huge in the Ukraine. So, so the huge. Ukraine was in the top three for last week. Mm. Top cities, Los Angeles, Shawnee, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Nice. Is that where the shooting was? Yes. That's probably why. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah. So that is it for the stats for now. So we we uh <clears throat> we are becoming an overnight sensation finally after, you know, in our third year. You know. But we're yeah. definitely coming along. Now now for really what I want to cover in this episode, we might want to get Tasha and and D and D in here. For this to uh, get their take okay. uh, on hold it. on, hold on. In that case, I am going to move back into the kitchen area because I've been I've been straight up hiding from people. I I heard yeah. that. Can Plato? Yeah. Um. Plato or Plato? Hi. Plato. I need a place to sit. Plato. Oh, I will so you're here. back? Yeah. Yeah. Bunny. Bunny. Bunny wants uh people's. Uh, I'm God, it must be so difficult to be around us, Steve. I okay. So what I am saying here that I want some responses for is whereas whereas ABC is totally within their rights to have fired Roseanne Barr. I feel that this is an example of corporate rights going too far, not just for Roseanne Barr. But for many others who have come before her, like Kathy Griffith, like what? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't hear you, Benny, because the baby's crying. A new kettle, kind of. Oh, no. no. That's the only one. Okay. Yeah. Bunny's trying to propose a question to me. Hold on. Bunny, don't propose to my mom. I didn't say propose. I said pose. A question. Pose. Okay. Yes. Give it again. Well, I am just saying that it is my contention. Um, that even though ABC was in the right to fire Roseanne Barr, I feel that this is a, an overreach of, of corporate rights. Corporate rights being over people's rights. And this is not just about this is not just about Roseanne Barr. This is about several people on either side of the political spectrum having been having been fired for things that they have said or done which does not have anything to do with the job and on their own time. Hmm. Okay. What, now, Bunny's, what Bunny's trying to say no, is no, he, I hear he's, what a, Bunny's he, saying. he's a Duck Dynasty fan now. And um, yes, the yeah. Duck Dynasty guy is, is figured in on this. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, Bunny, I see where you're coming from, and I see it. I understand the overreach. And what they do on their own personal time should not technically impact their job. However, it's society it does not work that way when you're in the limelight. Unfortunately, if you're the president, it it does because you're the president of the United States and you can grab a woman by the pussy and still get elected. However, with the way that things are going, if you are in the limelight and you say shit like that on your own personal time or on your right. own personal time, it reflects poorly on the studio. It reflects poorly on these people. Yeah, they're gonna but, end up losing. But yeah, look but, at what happens with but, that bitch. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. But tough titties on oh, what's going on with them? Because did they not know who Roseanne Barr was when they hired her? Did they not know about the half a million of the half a million fucking train wrecks of human beings that they've made famous? You know what I mean? That's true. But, Don't you know, they, they have, have to take responsibility and say, hey. In her to keep her mouth shut. What's that? They probably put too much faith in her to believe that she would keep her goddamn mouth shut. And then they started losing people well, that, that were actively stupid. involved in the show. And so it's like they're losing too many people. They're going to, you know, they've got to take action. Yeah. Because it's money draining from their pocket. Like, I, Wanda Sykes, she ain't going to put up with that shit. We all know Wanda Sykes ain't going to put up with that shit. Yeah. Wanda but what I'm too. saying is like, they should have thought about that. that. They should have thought about that before they hired Roseanne for the job. You know, we're talking but about an industry. We're talking about an entertainment industry that made the cashew outside girl famous, you know? So, so how yeah, about, no. so, oh, you know, fuck Roseanne. She's a, a disgusting person, you know, she's a completely reprehensible human being, but in America, you have the right to be reprehensible. You know what I mean? 
You do, but you don't have you, it. You're, you're not entitled to that right legally when you're on a television. It's it's you have freedom of speech, not freedom from consequences. You know, she decided to say something, and there were consequences for her actions, whether it be legal, whether it be business, personal. It doesn't matter. There were right. still consequences. I understand so, that, but are those consequences like, right? That, that's her personal opinion on her personal time, but also that reflects poorly on the studio. Tough it's shit. the same reason that Steve had to clean up certain aspects of his social media with Barnes and Noble, and that's Barnes when. And when Noble. do we that's as not even national television? You said the B word. When do uh, when do we fuck. as liberals and progressives fucking side with corporations? I'm not siding with corporations. I'm siding you know? with. Do you really want anything at all attached to that? They should have thought about that. I agree. They should have thought about that before bringing Roseanne Barr back onto the fucking in the studio. Yeah. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I'm not agreeing with the studio and saying that the corporation is more important than the individual. I am saying Roseanne Barr is a terrible fucking person who does not deserve to have a TV show, period. Of I, which I, I would I, agree I, with. Of which I would agree with. But... but we are talking about corporations having a lot of fucking power over us. And, and I don't really agree that it's only people in the limelight. And no, what, and what can they, and what, what is the limits of what they can actually do? Could they not like a political, in, a political affiliation I have? So they fire me for, having, for being a pro-marijuana advocate? You see what I mean? That's true. I mean, we I mean, don't know Roseanne Barr the herself. The of her contract either. Roseanne and Barr what herself. Might be in it. Yeah. Roseanne Barr like, herself is really only a catalyst for this conversation. You know, so so Kathy Griffith lost her job too over the headshots. But um bum you know, <laughs> is is I mean, that I, right? I mean, yeah, again, I, this is something else that's used doing on her own to open time. Up and you're you're using Roseanne Barr as the obese woman in the door to open that conversation. <laughs> yes, but like, there's still, like I said, there's still consequences, and you you need to pay attention to. She signed the contract. We don't know what was in that contract. We have no idea. So the studio may have been well within yes, the Yes, but we can to, set we can set show. laws. We can set laws for what can go into a contract and what cannot go into a contract. That is true. But and if it comes to a her person's right, right signing that contract. Uh yes she was. We still have we still have the choice. Like but her she, contract is all contract speculation. And she signs it. And that contract specifically says, you know, you are not to be while you're employed with us or while you know you're airing this television show, you are not to to actively be racist or sexist or xenophobic or whatever, you know, in social media or in a public space, then she's in breach of contract. I mean and yes. as yes. company, yes. Again, I'm, I'm not I'm not arguing or questioning what the law is now. Because what the law is now what all of these employers have done, they're all perfectly within their legal rights. But the question is, is should they have that right? Should they have that much control over what we do and what we say in our own lives? And can that also give them the ability? I mean, we're trying to fight corporations a lot right now and trying to get corporate money out of politics and all of this. I don't think this is a place where we should be siding with corporations because Roseanne Barr is a disgusting pig. No, I no, I completely agree. And Roseanne Barr is well within her rights to have her opinions, even if they're fucked up and wrong. Uh, just like everybody is. However, mm-hmm. we should definitely err on the side of good morals. I think you know what I'm we saying? should. And I, I don't know where you want to draw the line here. Like what you do in your personal time shouldn't affect this, this, and this, because I this is not a comparison 
but it is. How but why should a did, why should a corporation well, be deciding okay. what good morals are? Bill the cat. No, Jello guy. Well, Bill Cosby. How many? What did Bill Bill Cosby do in his own time? That affected his career. Well, nothing now because his career's over. But right. people accused him of shit. You know, like there's a lot of men and I think women that are being accused of things that happened in their own personal time. Um, but their careers are affected. So where do we where do we draw the line? Do we draw uh, the line? I am not exactly sure where to draw that line. It would be somewhere in the neighborhood of conviction. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, okay, Roseanne Barr, she might not be that popular, but you know what? Who she is popular with? Trump supporters. Republicans. Like, yeah. Republicans, uh, people who are racist, people who are willing to go out and, you know, have guns on their fucking hips. Shriners. Be, Shriners. You know, right. they're, they're willing to be those good guys with a gun type people. And if they were, if she, if she doesn't have that type of following per se, but if she did, if she had that clout and she was to say so and so, you know, needs to be taken down or whoever, whatever. What what if, what's to stop people being influenced by her? Just like with Trump, do you my my own kids? The there's there's had, nothing. Got there's affected. nothing that but, influence but, affected my own children. But why does that become a corporation's call? Because it reflects poorly on them. I mean, it just comes down to business and money for corporations. But what I'm saying is, if a corporation wants to work a morality clause in there. I'm down with that because if they're going to, no matter how much we fight them, if they're going to fucking try to control every little aspect, you better fucking bet my aunt, bet your ass because they need to put a morality clause somewhere. Like if you're going to be xenophobic, you're going to be homophobic, you're going to be racist, you're going to, you know, transphobic, whatever. If you're going to do these things, we're going to end your show. We're going to end our contract with you. You know, we're going to, we're well within our rights to do this. I'm not saying that we should be all in for this. It, you know, for corporations running things and having that much control. But if they're going to try to have that much control, give us that little bit of the morality clause. Put in there that these people who work for you, that are in the limelight, that are in the public eye, that could possibly have influence over the smaller people who are uneducated and don't have their own opinions. Yeah. Make sure that they cannot spew their hatred and their bullshit out on social media where other people can see it and take action against it or for it. Okay, but what you if we I mean? what if we're talking about Kathy Griffin instead of Roseanne? What the fuck did Kathy Griffin do? She She did the Trump severed head. Severed head. Trump. What the fuck? She should have gotten in trouble is... too. That was like a long time ago. No, she should have gotten trouble too. She did. She got fired. I can't have a cast for comedian, actress, bitch. I know who Kathy Griffin is. I know who she is. Um, she, there was a picture of her in a magazine or something. I don't know where. And she was holding up a fake Trump head, like the severed. Bloody Trump head. Tr bloody Trump head. Oh. Was this after he was elected? Yes. Yeah. Trump's son saw that and thought that she killed her dad. Oh my god, dad. you're such an idiot. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> no, Kathy Griffin should have gotten in trouble, just like Roseanne should get in trouble. <laughs> no, absolutely. I don't did care Kathy, what to But did Kathy Griffin, does she have a contract? Is she actively working, like, Yeah, she's right no now? longer doing the New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. there has been some repercussion. Yeah, yeah she, yes. got in, she got in a lot of trouble. Okay, so there was backlash. Yes. And there, there should have been. Just like what, there should yes, be there absolutely it. should be. I mean, I'm not, backlash, I'm not Trump supporter. Backlash, no, backlash, for, backlash from her company, her job once again, which is what I have issue with. And especially in a case where on her own time, she goes and takes a magazine shoot. That's not terribly unusual. Was she um, uh, what's it called? promoting a, a magazine? <laughs> a magazine liked it so much they published it. I think it might have been Esquire. I'm not sure. Okay, whose idea was it? Was it Kathy Griffin's or was it the magazine? Was it the photographer? It was between. It was between. It was between Kathy Griffith and the photographer. Okay, so. Wow. But the the magazine went ahead and published it anyway. Yes, it's a mag. The magazine should have gotten in trouble. She should have gotten in trouble, and she should have lost her job. I, that's my opinion. What? Why? Does she have? She's a promoting her whatever she was promoting. 
and her job is a comedian and the the new year's eve whatever he said okay well a comedian so do job you, is not a do you ever say position. do you ever say anything that's not in line with your job just like jobs that he has with netflix well, I don't. Well, I don't know. Like a comedian, kind of seems like an independent contractor deal. And yeah, absolutely. I feel like it should definitely be um, influenced by that choice that she made. You know. I mean, so, so she gets a job to do a magazine shoot, and this picture happens. If she between had her and the photographer, this is the problem. She lost her New Year's Eve gig, I guess. Yeah. Okay. What else did she lose? Did she lose anything else? Did she? My my point is, did she have a contract with a corporation? She lost her contract with the magazine. She, she had. Lost she, the contract with the magazine. she had the contract with CNN for uh, New Year's. I gotta pee again. Please talk amongst yourself okay. a moment. No. Okay. Um, I wanted to see if she could. Okay. Maybe I didn't. I had no fucking clue about this. Kathleen Griffin. Kathy. 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 Whatever. Fucking Kathy. Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin. What? Peter Griffin. Yeah, um, I had no idea about any of this, and uh, so this is all new to me. So I don't really, I can't, I don't know if I'm very confident about holding an opinion on this. However, I mean, it's no different. She's, but was she representing a corporation? Was she underneath? Us? I, I, I don't. I, I don't I'm know. Google it. I'm, I'm not a. Like if she's under a specific brand, like Roseanne was with what what ABC ABC. Oh my God, really? That's Disney. What the fuck? Um, like if if she's under a a specific brand or company or corporation, then I can I definitely see that corporation being well within the rights of well, they had a morality clause to say you know what that's you know. Not cool. We are going to cancel whatever or this. She lost her, all her stuff with YouTube. So YouTube took action against her. Yeah, the the um, magazine itself. The magazine. The uh, the halftime show for New Year's. Okay. Um, I don't think she lost her CNN job. job. She lost her job. At okay, CNN. keep that list up so that we can discuss this with Bunny. Okay, I'm just gonna write it down. Um, do you have a pen and paper? I'll get paper. I'll get paper. If you have a pen, she'll get paper. I mean, it's it's really just. Here, I got paper. Oh, me too. It it does come down to I understand we shouldn't let corporations have so much control, but on the at the same time, if if the corporations are still going to have all that control, we should definitely have make sure that there's a morality type clause. Definitely. I mean, it's a business thing. That's the reason why they cut the show off. One because everybody was quitting because they expected it, and two because it looked bad on them because of what she was saying. Exactly, and nobody okay. wants to be in that boat right now. No, no. Okay, Especially but now if things. if her job if her job was protected by law, then they they still got an out because they could still hide behind that. Gee, we'd really love to get rid of Roseanne, but we're legally bound; we can't. And their asses and their ass is covered because they don't give a fuck about right; they give a fuck about money. So if their ass is adequately adequately covered, and we can have more personal freedom, I'm down with that. The funny thing about the action that they took with the show, um, you, how you know their excuse for it is they didn't want viewers to think that they had that point of view. But by getting rid of Roseanne, they kind of took the opposing view yeah. and made, like, so th th people are going to be pissed Well, I mean, way. I don't agree. I don't agree yeah. with the, I, I've never watched the the, re the reboot. Yeah, I never um, watched All I either. hear was about 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 it yeah. and all the terrible, terrible plot points. Yeah, like um, the one about the neighbors that were... Um, the Muslims? Yeah, the Muslims, and they thought, she fucking thought they were building a bomb in the whole episode. No, and like, that. you know what, in the tweet that she did, and mm -hmm. Steve... Steve said that um, mm -hmm. somebody somebody said something to her and she responded that Muslim is is not a religion because somebody told her she was racist and I'm, and you know what I, I don't like the woman but she's right Muslim is not a relig uh, yeah. not a not a race it's a religion just like Judaism is not a race it's a religion yeah. so you can't say something like that and say you're being racist uh, mm -hmm. what what is the word for being what religion is Islamophobic. <laughs> 
I don't know. Me it's personally, not a, it's not a thing, I guess. Me personally, but, but you know, like I, I agree with her absolutely. I'm not being racist. Me personally, not, racism is just she fine, might be a phobic, especially whatever the word is for it that I'm not unknowing. <laughs> but it, like, I don't, I didn't like the show, and the show absolutely, the the company could have been like, well, we're stuck with her. Sorry, guys, we may not agree with things she's saying. Mm-hmm. We're contractually obligated. And they should have been more responsible in their hiring practices. Well, the thing is, is that corporations, because they are all about money, they will cave to pressure because they know who pays their bills. Their sponsors and their sponsors uh, can be swayed by the people who buy the stuff from the sponsors. Just like that one bitch from Box and Friends or whatever. She said that whatever the fuck she said about that boy from the shooting, I think it was. Yeah. And oh, then, that part, like yeah. they were dropping sponsors like flies. So she suddenly went on a vacation, yeah. you know? Yeah. And they lost how many sponsors. The sponsors is where the majority of their money comes in, not from their viewers. Yeah. But if their viewers press the sponsors and the sponsors start dropping, you know, and they didn't want to, I can guarantee you, because it's all about the money, they didn't want to be in that same boat. So they were like, ah, you know what? And we're losing uh, people involved in the show as well. We're going to go ahead and cancel it. They could have just if, said, well, unfortunately, due to this thing, these people quit. Yeah. We no longer have the capability of producing the show properly to the standard that we mm-hmm. are used to, blah, blah, blah. They could have made it completely, like, twisted it around. So it yeah. was nothing about what Roseanne said and directly related. Right. But we've lost all these people. Unfortunately, we can no longer produce the high quality content that we are used to producing and we are canceling the show. Mm -hmm. They could have went that route and they should have went with that route. Yeah. But they didn't. And my problem is, is they knew those episodes that she was putting out were bad and they fucking did it anyway. Because this is Trump's America. And that, and what you had just said there, that would have been completely legitimate. That would have been completely have been legitimate. Completely legitimate. You, you you can't Absolutely. you can't do a show like this. Mm-hmm. Because I don't care who you are. If you're a business like that, you should not be politically, religiously, no. uh, sexuality like. Don't affiliate yourself yeah, with anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be open to anybody and anything. Mm-hmm. Do not oppose anything or make your stance known like that. Yeah. Uh, if you want to produce this show, though, you're kind of taking a stance, and you're like, yeah, yeah. we're going to allow this shit content on our station. And if you don't, and if you cancel the show, then you're taking the exact opposite. So, I mean, honestly, what I mean, they should no, have done... No, if you cancel it for specific reasons, well, you're yeah, taking yeah, the exact... Yeah, if like they did. Like you said, like if you were specifying... Or they could have done, you know, any... the the what a content in the show has no... You yeah, doesn't we, reflect on the TV, the TV, whatever, the company. Yeah, they could have put a disclaimer. Yes. Yeah, just coming out to this call. They definitely could have put a disclaimer. And all those people, lo- like, but I don't know. Everybody lost their jobs. I haven't, everybody I haven't is. watched the show because I That's don't have terrible. cables, so I was just waiting for it to come on Netflix, which probably ain't going to happen now unless Netflix picks it up because they're whores oh, like that. Um, uh, I don't know. They will not. They're under so much fire right now for Thirteen Reasons Why too. Yeah. Like I don't know, but don't they still have that Tim Allen show? No. Is that still around? No, because I heard that was terrible and like super like rednecky and it was it wasn't like republican it wasn't like racist or anything like roseanne was it was just bad i wasn't sexist though i didn't i didn't think so i don't know not outwardly what did the the last man standing is what it's called is that what it's yeah with tim taylor Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i i watched a few episodes but i didn't nothing jumped out at me as sexist you know i mean it just looked like i don't know the family i fucking grew up in i was like oh hey i really liked i think uh, home improvement and i watched one episode and that was it I, I think we could probably talk about this all night, but I think we should probably wrap it up so we, that we, we can... definitely need to wrap it up. I'm sorry. See, That's you can't okay. drag me into these things, buddy. I, I drag it out. No, that was that out. was great. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just pull it like taffy and it's gonna go on forever. I just think that if we're gonna change the world, we should start examining everything. And I think that's something agree, to examine. But money talks, and that's the problem. And we, part we of what needs to Everybody, part of what needs to, to stop. Can profit. And that's that's where everything gets fucked up. Human beings have to be put ahead of profit. You're gonna do what now? Human beings should be put ahead of profit. I absolutely fucking agree, my man. Like 
I so agree with that. I thought you said something about beans. <laughs> human beings, yeah, should be put ahead of. Oh, I thought we were talking about beans. The like problems, beans. everything, like humans should be put first. But do we do that? No, because we're terrible, terrible. So people. we we don't know what the next grumpy old man is going to be uh, until we get closer to a date and what what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, so this was a more serious episode, and yes, maybe we just won't do that shit again. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is a comedy show. <laughs> yeah. I'm bringing the laughs. <coughs> Saying shit blocks. I thought that was funny. Thank you. You're welcome. And cut.